welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video today we are going to be taking care of our neck we all know that the neck tend to lose the collagen production very very fast even much faster than the face because the skin tend to be very very thin so it tend to show wrinkles and fine lines more than anywhere else on the body now today i have this wonderful solution for you that is going to help to tighten that neck it's going to help to boost the collagen production and get rid of all that sagging skin that give you that awful turkey looking neck so well, i'm going to show you this remedy you're going to use it on the neck for a more wrinkle free just basically a more younger looking neck so if you're interested in today's video continue watching the first ingredient is yogurt and yogurt contains lactic acid which will help to dissolve dead skin cells it also will help to lighten and brighten the skin yogurt will help to tighten the skin it helps to shrink large pores therefore leaving your skin just bright tight radiant and supple the next ingredient is aloe vera gel and this is the store-bought gel make sure when you're buying aloe vera to look for 100 percent pure aloe vera gel all natural and aloe vera is great for fighting sagging skin and getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines not only that it will help to get rid of dark spots on the skin acne scars and blemishes so aloe vera is definitely a very important ingredient in this facial mask now take a look at the next ingredient and this is green tea in a tea bag form if you do not have tea bags and you have loose green tea go ahead and use that now green tea is definitely an anti-aging booster it will help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines green tea also help to soften the skin it helped to have your skin looking just plump because anti-aging meaning that it helped to boost the collagen production in the skin Overall, green tea is a perfect ingredient for getting rid of sagging skin. And take a look at the final ingredient. And this is banana, as you can see. Now, banana is definitely moisturizing. Banana is going to help to tighten that skin. Not only will it tighten the skin, but it's also going to help to clear the skin of blemishes banana is also great for shrinking pores if you're looking to have fresh radiant skin just reach for a banana and you definitely will see result in no time now take a look at all the ingredients we have the banana we have the aloe vera gel we have the green tea and we have the yogurt every single one of these ingredients have properties that will help to get rid of sagging skin fight wrinkles and fine lines. All of these have some form of a property that will help to boost the collagen production. And when we mention boots and collagen production, we're talking about building back that fat in the body. The collagen is what causes the skin to be firm and tight. Now, when you get older, what happens, the skin starts to lose the collagen production, leaving it with wrinkles and fine lines and then sagging. So applying all of this is going to help to boost the collagen collagen is a form of a protein so using this on the skin is going to build the protein which is in turn collagen and therefore leaving your skin just younger fresher and brighter so if you're interested in this wonderful mask come with me to the kitchen and i'll show you how to whip it up in no time now the first thing i'm going to prepare is the banana and i'm using just a small piece of banana for one treatment so about a quarter of a large banana so i'm just going to peel the banana which is pretty easy and once you remove the banana we're just going to chop the fruit and this is what we're going to be blending however the banana peel is loaded with a lot of antioxidant that will further help to get rid of the wrinkles so therefore i'm just going to scrape the inner part of the banana peel going to add it to the rest of the banana so just scrape it and add it to the rest of the banana 
and now we are gonna blend our banana now do not add any water to this if you're home and you're making this you could go ahead and scoop the yogurt in it right away however because I need to show measurements I'm gonna blend the banana separately so now I'm gonna blend so take a look at our blended banana And this is about two tablespoons of blended banana. So now we're gonna put everything together. Now here we have two tablespoons of banana. And to this, we're using two tablespoons of yogurt. And please remember to use plain yogurt, unsweetened yogurt, okay? One teaspoon of the aloe vera gel. And I'm using a tea bag, which is about one teaspoon of green tea leaves. And we're just gonna pour this in. And now I'm gonna mix this. Just blend the green tea in. And here it is. Now this is not yet ready. What you need to do, you need to set this aside for about two to three hours so that the green tea could infuse in the rest of the ingredient. You can choose to place it in the refrigerator because we are using the yogurt. Let it sit in the refrigerator two to three hours or maybe overnight and then the mask is ready to use. So I'm gonna put this aside and then I'm gonna come back and show you how to use this wonderful mask on your neck for best result. So here it is. And I actually infused mine overnight and take a look at it. And this is cold, it's okay to use cold. Remember we have the yogurt in it so you don't want to leave it out for too long. However, you could let it warm up a little. Leave it outside for a couple of minutes, about half an hour, and then it's good to use. So you just want to start as I was doing and then you're going to dip your brush or whatever it is you're using to apply. It's not a very thick mass, so load up your brush and you're gonna apply it in upward stroke. Just lifting, so just apply. Cover the entire neck. Go all the way under the jawline. under the chin and you can also choose to go down on the neck and décolleté with this so completely cover the neck so just cover the neck some people have wrinkles on their chest it's okay just apply a little there too now after applying the mask to your neck, you're gonna sit with the mask for at least 30 minutes. If you have more time, wear it a little longer. Now when you're done, you're gonna rinse this off with some warm water. After you rinse it off, you're gonna pat dry and you're gonna apply your favorite neck and dead cloté cream or your favorite oil or oil blend. You can choose to use oil rich in vitamin A and the neck area, which is gonna help to get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines and also the sagging skin, the turkey neck. And these oils are like rose hip oil, you can use carrot seed oil, you can use a little vitamin E oil, you can also choose to mix oil with aloe vera gel and just apply it to the neck. Now when you're applying these oils or cream to your neck, you wanna do it in upward stroke, so you just warm the oil in your hand and just lift, 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 all the way around that is also helping to build the collagen by boosting the circulation in the skin you want to use this neck mask at least two to three times per week for best result however for your oil and your massaging do that at least once per day
So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video and leave your comments. And if this was the first time watching, look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.